one is breaking out, covering the ground. I can only dream of while I watch them all go by. Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm here in beautiful Sedona, Arizona. We're at about 5,000 feet and uh, I'm gonna get ready and go on a hike right now and just and try to enjoy this amazing, beautiful scenery, these red rocks, really rich and uh, rich in minerals and can't wait to get up there and climb around. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, I can't believe the color, the rock with the green, so gorgeous. But yeah, this is the best way when you're traveling to get some much needed exercise. We were sitting in the car for about three hours. Just got to the top of this amazing rock structure. We climbed up several hundred feet. The heart was pumping, the breath was short. Altitude training is where it's at. Most elite athletes do altitude training to raise their lung capacity, raise their VO2 max, get themselves into race shape. And then when you get back down to low altitude, you can fly. We got a little trim off of our friend's aloe vera plant, and so we were just using this. It's really dry out here. We're just squeezing out. This is right off the plant. It's amazing how this, how this works. You just press it out, and then it's wonderful moisturizer. It's an antimicrobial. So rub it on the skin, putting it on the face, around the eyes. Nice and cool. Nature's beauty secret. It hardly ever rains in the Arizona desert, and today it is pouring rain. And we're near Sedona. We're here for a full moon chocolate party last night. We're up late dancing and eating this raw, organic, amazing chocolate and elixirs. Woke up this morning feeling a little hungover from all the chocolate. So um, put on the rain gear, went outside, went for a run outside. It was an awesome run. Up in the hills, it's all gravel, um, so it was really easy on the legs and the knees and the joints. But let me tell you, the first two miles, my heart was pumping, my, my chest was pounding, I was working so hard. And I think some of that's from the cacao, but most of it is because of the 5,000 feet of elevation up here. It makes you work so much harder. But after a couple miles, I got into my groove, everything was great. Good afternoon, we are on the second day of our Arizona tour. We just spent the evening at the Grace Grove Retreat Center in Sedona. It was wonderful. And uh, Jeff got off, got up this morning and did his run. And I uh, did a little bit of yoga and Pilates this morning. We knew we had a six hour drive down through Tucson to Patagonia to our next retreat center. And um, so how do we eat well and stay fit on the road? Well. We've been taking little movement breaks every hour or so. I, we just got out of a rest stop and we were doing a little bit of stretching, some jumping jacks to get our lymph flow going because when we sit for long periods of time, we need to get that lymph flow back going, our circulation flowing properly. And so then on the way down, we also stopped at a grocery store and got everything from oranges, apples, cucumbers, tomatoes, even some mangoes and um, have just been munching along the way, really healthy food. and. We fueled up this morning with a really nice power smoothie with a bunch of new key ingredients, maca, some almond butter, um, banana, coconut. We did a nice power smoothie this morning. So we're feeling good and hydrated. We have some big jugs of water we've been drinking. So those are some tips for you guys when you're traveling. Fruits, nuts, seeds, and you're all set veggies. Easy. We've been doing a lot of running and hiking the last few days here in Arizona. It's really super hilly and it gets really tight here in the hip flexors. So a couple couple things I like to do for that is um, this particular stretch and it'll get in here the whole part. So I like to do this on both sides like three times. Really opens it up really nice. Close together and split down as cracks. We'll be heading through here for the next 30 minutes or so just kind of negotiating the, these little climbs and some of them will be full of water you'll see. So, let's see what happens. It's going to be fun. Yeah. And most of the time in the summer we come here, we get, um, you feel every little bump in your spine. Oh, yeah. Too bony. Breathe. Shake out the hands. Here we go. Oh. 
Oh, that is easy. With nothing.